some good kids. They've worked hard. Those guys have played together for a while. Out here, you know, you see Hunter Thompson out wide at corner. Got Parker Green over at the other corner and Holden Bowsman back there at safety. And there's the fake, and Toysh has got it. He's going to be passing. Madden on the pursuit, looking. He tucks it. Going to get out of bounds right at the sticks. And that's a tough one. You know, there's a play over there. I know we see Eastern sidelines calling for a late hit, and that's a very hard one right there because that, I mean, that's just a um, – That's the, the same thing that happens in the pros. That quarterback, you know, goes to goes to throw, boots out to the, to the side, gets over to the sideline, and can step out yeah. but doesn't have to. So then it's a case of, okay, do you hit him? Do you not hit him? You know, what do you do? Luckily, there was no flag there on that for a, a late hit out of bounds. So, you know, that's – that's a it's a it's a 50 50 play there when you look at it you know what you can call sometimes and every coach on a sideline is always going to throw a flag yep. game to, you know what you decide and uh and god bless our officials you know that's something we with all this crap we got to worry about is our poor officials <laughs> yeah here we go and it looks like jake strange splitting out wide looks like we're gonna have a pass twitch drops back he throws quick and that nice, ball nice pass to ferris ferris is gonna Catch it for a catch gain. Catch that one for a gain of about five. Yeah, that ball was very close. Ferris went down and got it. It looks like he came under it. So um, that's a ball that could have easily just done a quick little bounce there, gotten away from him. But he extended the hands. He pulls it in against the body. Good, good, good uh, uh, play there for the Musketeers. They're putting together a great drive here with 229 left in the first quarter. Man, this first quarter is um, taking a while, it feels like. Sometimes they go by real quick. Sometimes they take forever. Yeah. Here we go. Toysh back there in the backfield as the snap comes from the shotgun. Single backfield, Martin. He he is going to drop back. He's going to pass. He looks for Ferris over the middle. Ferris, Ferris makes a nice catch. It bobbles off of a couple of people, and then he goes down. Yes, it looks like McFeeders about the 31. 31 for a gain of 19 yards there. Um, Ferris with a good move there. He hauls it in, uh, you know, a la Cole Beasley there is what I would say. <laughs> One of those plays, right? Like yeah. um, Brandon Stokely, for those of you guys who are uh, uh, Colts fans, if you still remember those, uh, kind of comes up the middle there. Good good catch there. I mean, and I'm going to bet if I was if I was, if I I was was Eastern, oh, we got a personal foul, and this looks like it's going to be against the Senators. Senators, I'm not sure who that one's on, but. I don't know if it was at the end of the play. I, I, it looked like something there, like we've got that, so. And that is a. That is a big play there for one penalty. That'll be 15 yards. Uh, of course, the Senators uh, can't be given any freebies there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be first and 10 from the 17. Okay, so if I, I'm I'm going to say that we're looking right here. Uh, Martin should be getting the ball because he is. They've gotten Ferris. they got to give him a play or two off here. Uh, we got a kind of a slow play. We have to wait for the head official to get back. He was on the 50 there. I think getting everything ready, he's now – I wonder if the officials are social distancing tonight here. <laughs> well, that's an interesting uh... – And, man, I tell you, right there, that's what we're talking about. As you see, the senator line comes up, and they have just – they decimate the musketeers right there on the front there. Martin had no chance to get there as he was met by just a big red blur of senators. And you see Holden, Holden back there, you know, um, playing safety, you know, and I think that's something we might see especially a lot more this year. I know, uh, you know, talking to Gibby and stuff, he's like, hey, he's, you know, he's a senior now. He moves quick and, you know, he can intercept the ball. We saw that a lot last year. Yeah, yep. All right, so we got trips to the left, a single receiver to the right there, single backfield as we look, and McFeeder's calling out. I think we might see some action over here to the right side. Toysh has got it. He's looking, but he is going to be swallowed up in the backfield. Andrew Lewis going to – Get him and bring him down. Man, is shades of Ray Lewis there, 52 there the, from the U coming yeah, out Yeah, there. there we go. So Andrew Lewis able to get to the outside edge and then bring uh, Tush down in the backfield. So that's going to bring up third and uh, um, <laughs> Lavonia. Yeah, third, third and forever. Third and Lavonia <laughs> as we uh, go there and as big Mike hustles off of there. Looking there, I've seen, I've noticed that they've, uh, with our, our different fronts we got, and I see number 12 back there, Victor Young, uh, senior coming out there, number 12. Um, man, what a huge play there to take down a lot of 25 yards to go for the first down here for the Musketeers. Here's the snap, and it is going to be a quick throw. It is out to fair, excuse me, to 20. I can't make out the number. It's. 24. 24. Number 24 for the Senators. Nope. And for uh, the, 22. 22. Sorry. 22. Sorry 
straight, he said. Straight. And that's going to bring almost a close here to the quarter. we got about 12 seconds left. So um, being at fourth down and 25, I do not know that the Musketeers are going to be able to get this playoff. Um, but, hey, great first quarter here so far uh, for the Senators. They are going to end it up 14 to nothing. Um, as we will uh, go to a quick commercial break, we'll be right back. You're listening to West Washington Livestream. Your success is Stewart Seed Success. That's the idea behind their 100% replant eligible program for grower customers. You deserve peace of mind even during an unpredictable season. Maximizing your profit potential comes down to identifying challenges and capitalizing on opportunities. Stewart Seed's agronomy library keeps you up to date with local agronomy insights to help you navigate through the season. Our team members make it a priority to work with your unique needs to find the best solution available. Get to know everyone on our team, from the field sales representatives to our technical agronomists. Building trusted relationships starts with sharing what we know with our Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio neighbors just like you. Stay up to date on the latest local agronomy updates, harvest communication, and news from Stewart Seeds. Let's keep in touch, because that's what neighbors do. Contact Michael Trueblood at 812-620-3311. Welcome back to Art Sanders Field as we start the second quarter here of the first game of the 2020 season for the West Washington Senators as they are taking on the Eastern Musketeers. Um, it is going to be fourth down and 23 on the ball on the 29-yard line here for the uh, Musketeers. The Senators defense is going to try to hold here and force a turnover on downs. So far, it's been all Senators outside of a couple big plays here on this drive by the Musketeers. So we will see what happens. Coach Gibby calling in some plays there as he's uh, getting them going as we uh, look to stop the Musketeers here. And Toysh back there in the in the backfield with Martin. Ferris out wide. Going to go with four wide receivers, two to each side. So. so we got there and trying to maybe extend Jake Strange and throw over him. They're going to just drop back and make a quick pass. And it's up and that's going to be knocked down. Knocked down by Roper McFeeders coming over from his safety spot to knock that one down. Tell you what, great play. It's one of those, hey, you knock it down, you get the ball back. So that's a great play, and that'll be a turnover on downs for the Eastern Musketeers, and that's where the West Washington Senators will take over. Probably a great job by McFeeters to knock that one down and not try to catch it and return it because he wasn't going to get back to the line of scrimmage. So Senators are actually going to gain yards by knocking that one down. And, you know, that's, that's a football IQ. That's something that I, you know, being in a couple different schools, I noticed that sometimes it's hard to know that situation. You know, don't need to pad those stats just yet. Bowsman back there with single backfield to McFeeders. He's going to make a quick pass out to Stevens. Stevens in the flat. Stevens goes. He has got some blockers in from Bobby Stevens is hitting in second gear. He's hitting his third gear. He just bounced over somebody, and he's going to be brought down about at the 42-yard line. It so looks that's like. going to be a 23-yard gain. 23-yard gain by Bobby from Bowsman. We got a looks like a block in the back possibly out here. We got flags. We got, All over the place. We got some bananas on the field there. and That is going to be, uh, oh, that is a. Senator's going to end up losing that play. It's going to be a block in the back. Man, you know, and that's nothing to Bobby's to Bobby's credit there. He made the right play and went. And uh, I, I do like to see that. I tell you what, he's somebody, if, as teams get wore down, Brent, we're going to, I mean, Craig, we're going to see that. He's going to be, he's going to be a team just able to run over people. Yeah. Um, because Bobby knows one speed, <laughs> and it's quick. So that's going to push him back here. So <laughs> it is always, I tell you what, the first games are tough even for the yeah. officials. The officials um, are trying to get this one straightened out, so um, we're going to see. A big thank you it's to our. Be first and 12. And, and big thank you over there to our chain gang, um, Coach Sullivan there. Mr. Rosenbaum, I believe, and uh, Mr. Walker, and uh, I don't know who the other person is over there. I'm trying to see. Ball is down, ball is down, and it looks as if uh, McFeeters falls on it there. Bowsman never looked to actually get it. It's like he, he went off his hands, and before he could ever make the handoff, he never got it. McFeeters, though, on the lead, was following. He just basically does a quick little belly flop right there, it's preserving the play. Not a real good start to this drive for the Senators. Right, they're, they're struggling to get – you know, in a in a rhythm here, get going. So, let's see what happens here as we get it. They're going to get that playoff this time, and it does go to McFeeders. McFeeders to the outside. Out he makes, makes a cut. 
Oh, man. Make another cut. He might be gone. He's going. He's going. He's got one man to beat. Number 30. Can he get him? No. It looks like McPheeters is going to be in, and we've got no, no flags. flags on the field. So that's nope. a – An 84-yard, 74-yard touchdown run. Wow. Wow. What a run. 67-yard, I apologize, 67-yard touchdown run by Roper McPheeters there. Um, he hits that edge, and then it's, it's Gonzo. Wow, what a play there. That's, that's one of those plays that you have big. When you have big-time players, that's what you want to see. Big-time players make big-time plays. And that's exactly what Roper did. He got the edge and took off. So <laughs> he, gets, he, gets, he gets the playoff here as we try to – he's going to come over. And uh, thank goodness his, uh, his haircut wasn't too long in the back because he might have been pulled down by that. <laughs> I still remember that guy. I think it was for somebody in the NFL. His braids got pulled. Yep. And, oh, my gosh. That has to be the most painful thing. Well, and that's when they came up with the rule that that's part of the uniform. Form, so. yeah. I tell you, that's some things. As Coach Dwayne Nance there, he's calling in some plays there. It is interesting to see. Uh, I, I do like that. He's an easy guy to spot. He's one of the bigger guys on the sidelines there. Senator's going to go with their – it looks like a jumbo yeah. package. And it looks as if Thompson got off sides along with the – We're going to have a, a false start maybe. Yeah, the whole left side of the line got up and moved about a second early there it looked like. So going to reset this one from the eight, I believe. Some guys over here taking some uh, – we did notice over here on the sidelines that, you know, I don't know if our fans at home can see those different tables. Each of the classes have different tables. Yeah. And so it has their, their masks yeah. and things on them and individual their water uh, bottles. individual water bottles. So, You know, that's something. I, and we'll, we'll kind of talk about that maybe a little more halftime, some things that we found out about, like what all these teams are doing is Holden's going to take the snap. He is going to fake the handoff to Stevens. He's looking for somebody deep. He throws. He hits Strange. Strange is just – he's in. Wow. I did not know if we would get that call, but Jake apparently put, brings the ball over, and he is hobbling. I'll know. Jake is hobbling. He's cramping. Yeah, it's going to be a cramp. cramp. So, uh, Kent Chapman, our great uh, trainer down there, uh, well, that's okay. In can kick off here. And the first couple games of the season, you got to get some water in you. I oh, watched, yeah. I watched Kai uh, Struther walk around with an entire gallon of water today <laughs> drinking it. And he told me, I was like, I said, you're going to thank yourself after this because yeah. you've exerted a lot more. That's that's the truth. You know, this first game, you know, you haven't been, you haven't been in the uh, – in the game situation yet, so it's it's a an interesting um, situation situation there. to to do. So yeah, it's definitely one that you look at that you that you don't know what's going on. You know, early you know your body's pushed itself further than it's been pushed in a while, and you have to you have to take a moment there and just think, hey, what am, what do I need to do to get ready? And you can't start hydrating when you're thirsty. Yeah, it it has to happen. 24 to 48 hours yeah. before and some of these kids they came back with some i mean sweet sweet uh quarantine beards and we got some uh we got some some they're asking here on the clock uh, they're, they're looking at us no they're looking up above us which oh, above is, us <laughs> you see you see uh coach nance and coach burks down there looking straight at the camera they're actually looking above the press box <laughs> to uh, Coach Burks, who's up top. So Thankfully, that wasn't us. That's We always worry about that. It's like when you get called out in class. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Yeah, no, we weren't being called out. They're, they're talking to, to the coaching staff up, up on top. So Well, it looks like Jake is okay to kick off here. Is that him or is that Rose? No, that's him. That's, that's Jake. him. Okay. Um, so he's on there. I'm, I'm going to tell you, he might – it looks as if he might kick this one right over towards the the senator sideline here if I was betting right over near number two here for the Musketeers there, Mason Walker. And Strange is up, and there's the kick, and he kicks it down the middle of the field. It takes a bounce. It's going to be picked up there. A 22. 22. And he is going to shake a tackle before being brought down there at the 39-yard line. So Glenn Rankin and uh, Victor Young there on nice that Nice job there by, by Victor Young. Hey, a kid who went through a lot of injuries a couple years ago, um, you know, came back to football. That's good to see. Um, Victor's a good kid. I like seeing I like seeing young people that keep working hard and don't give up because there's a lot of times when you face adversity like that, and uh, especially your senior year, you want to come out and you want to do your best. I know definitely today it's been a struggle. I'm seeing some new numbers and I'm calling yeah. the old names to them. <laughs> yep. So. Got to read my roster a little bit more. We got some guys down here uh, getting some snaps in, practicing some stuff. Uh, it is always good. It's uh, During this time when you're so, so uh, 
you don't want to you don't want to sit on the sidelines and get cramped up. You don't want to get up and like uh, feel bad. I wonder, you know, most games are way hotter than this. Yeah, yeah. We may see our first extra point in oh. a couple of years because uh, we see Ian Rosenbaum back down on the sideline warming up. Clark Nance gonna be the uh, long snapper. Clark is, you know, these guys begged me when they were junior high to kick them, and I didn't. Uh, I never let them. We had to score a lot more than then. <laughs> we were, they were a good little crew, good little crew to start with. And uh, speaking of our good little crew, Mister, we got a little, little hold, the yeah, holding part two down there. Um, Russell, um, <laughs> one of our ball boys, Isaiah down there, Dennis and uh, um, Jank Tankersley there. Some great, yep. some great, great kids down there working hard. Um, big, big shout out to them and our cheerleaders. Everybody out here, we got a lot of fans that are uh, working hard and. Uh, Let's see what we can do here. Parker on the near side of the field going to cover Ferris over here. There's a he's going to Toysh is going to take Toysh it. Toysh is going to take it. He's going to be met in the right at the line of scrimmage. Andrew Lewis there. Uh, and Andrew it looks, Lewis looks like Glenn Rankin popping out there. You know, number eight we talk about. He just emerges like the Undertaker from <laughs> uh, Survivor Series match there. Pops up. Senators up 22 to nothing here early in the second quarter. Tell you what, you look at some guys out here uh, real quickly, and um, it'll be interesting to see if who, who's who got the longevity in some of these games. You know, when you're up, it's a, it's a lot different. But, you know, for Eastern, you're down now, and you're tired, and you, you're trying to run the ball. You're trying to get those hard yards. Ferris out wide here, and we could see – Twish could roll out here pretty easily, but he's going to take the snap and the wingman in motion. He's going to hand off to Martin. Martin up the middle, nothing there. We Man. saw he met Big Mike. <laughs> yes, and Mutt, and just like uh, the school lunch there, he just gets pounded down real quick. And next, please. Yeah, That's what he says. Brings up third and eight. And you know Martin at five foot six, one hundred fifty five pounds. That's uh, the, it, he he'll he'll feel that tomorrow. But you know what? He is a good little football player. He plays hard, and that's what you really you wonder like how many how many reps a lot of these kids have gotten against you know right. the all the restrictions that were put in place. I mean, like Gibby said, sometimes we've already played a lot of seven on seven and gotten a lot of stuff. Twenty in motion. He is wide, and I think oh we've got a timeout here by the Musketeers. With that, we're going to go ahead and jump out to a commercial break. Uh, we will be back in just a moment. When you hit that water, you're going to want to look for weeds, sunken structures, down trees, stuff like that. And let that breeze tell you where you want to go. Windy days like this, those bait fish will come swimming closer to shore. They'll bring the big boys with them, those bass and those pike. And they like cooler temperatures, so you ain't likely to have much luck. You're good at giving fishing advice. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood welcome back to our sanders field as we uh get ready for a big third down play here for the uh, musketeers they are third seven on the 42 yard line as the senators will be trying to push them back here um in a, a big play here with midway through this uh second quarter that the uh senators have been able to dominate so far it'll I, i'm wondering with all that confusion, I'm willing to bet this is a pass play of some sort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> one one area score that I was able to get up was the Clarksville score, um, and they didn't even start yet because it's in a lightning delay. <laughs> a lightning delay. Holy cow. So. 20 in motion. There's going to be. They're going to drop back. Toysh gets the ball. He's got it. Oh, goodness. Wow. Nice, that was catch nice catch out by 34. 34 there for the. Justin Carr comes down with a big, big catch. And I tell you what, that was just picking on some young defensive backs there. Hunter Thompson and uh, Roper McFeeder is just, it's almost like they just overjumped him just a little bit. But that's going to be a big, big conversion there. So nice conversion there for the Musketeers. They're going to take over this set of downs on the 43. There's the ball, and Toys is going to look. He's going to be trying to find some daylight. He gets a quick pass out to the flats. Oh, Parker, Parker Green. Green with the interception. There we go. Parker Green. You know, and last year, him and Jake would do some tip drills. 
And I'm glad to see we got that one defensively. Let's see. Do we got to, we got a banana on the field over there? So let's see what on happens. On the far side of the field away from the play. Okay. So those of you at home getting to see that with Parker with the interception, we're going to see if it stands or not. It was on the back side, so I don't know if it'd be if it would be pass interference. They're going to wave it wave off, it off. And that'll be a good one. Great job, Parker. Hanging tough. That is one of the when a ball gets batted, being able to redirect yourself and come back and get it is a huge thing. I'd like to give a big thanks to all of those of you out there who are watching, who yeah. did uh, purchase the game tonight, um, along with the season passes that are out there. You know, you're getting the, the home football games. Um, that's because we can't guarantee away games. It depends on the, the uh, home team's. Uh, school on if we can go or not. So we will find a way. We will try to find a way yeah, as much so as we can, even from the back in an RV. So thank you very much for purch purchasing those. The game tonight. Bobby Stevens, he's off and running. He might not be stopped. He's going. There's only one man who can beat him, and that's the quarterback coming in tight. And Stevens is in the end zone for a touchdown, but he is being nope, marked. Going to be two. marked down at the two. At the three. Two, three. Actually, going to put him down at the three. Wow. So Bobby does a great job getting down that sideline. And I'm trying to think of who Bobby reminds me of. He was a running back the year before I got here, a little bitty guy. Um, would have been the class of 2000. And, uh, Jacob uh, Ferris. Jacob Ferris. A little bitty guy, could boot scoot like no other. Yep. That's what, except Bobby's like a Mack truck. In that. Which is, which is kind of interesting because the, uh, the, the running back before him was uh, Roper's older brother. <laughs> okay. So they've got kind of the, the combination in the backfield right now. Roper with that carry, he's going to get out and get into the end zone. And it is for a touchdown there. So. McFeeder's second touchdown on the day. Wow. It's going to make it 28 to nothing, Senators. Still 8.26 to go here. And that's, you know, McFeeder's already with two touchdowns. And uh, looking at that, he's over 100 yards. <laughs> Um, if my stats are pretty close, they're um, almost over 100 yards in the first half with two touchdowns. Um, as we're going to attempt an extra point here. Looks like Ian Rosenbaum in to attempt the extra point. Snap, down. Up. It and looks beautiful. It looks good. Good job by Ian Rosenbaum. Not bad for a freshman there as he comes up and uh, – Somebody's just got to get the ball. That's the only thing we did wrong on that play. So uh, Holden, Holden Russell is running oh, around he, the back to go get he it. Goes. He better watch it. Somebody might hop out of those cars over there and come <laughs> get it. <laughs> so the Senators with a 29 to nothing lead over the Pekin Musketeers. Um, you know, it's one of those where you can just tell that the Senators just have that uh, upperclassmen. Uh, you know, they're, they're loaded with upperclassmen and just are able to, to do what they've done over the past couple of years um, and have that experience. You know, to, to go with the the, uh, the the power, the the muscle, the the physical ability. So it's it's a it's a tough matchup tonight for the for the Musketeers, but they're they're playing hard. They're not giving up. They're they're running their stuff, which is always good. Yeah, they you know, and you look at them. It's just that, in really, you know, in our, our talks with Coach Dean, them being the Mid Southern, they have one of the smallest enrollments. Yeah. In the Mid Southern, and that's what. I, I mean, I, I see that, and, you know, I, I went, you know, I was at a former, you know, two-A school there with Crawford County, and it was it was, it was was a struggle there, you know, because numbers, and we were 3A when we first started there, <laughs> you know, and so now you see some of these schools, like, I, I don't, I don't, it's, I, I feel for them because it is, I told them the bus all the Mid-Southern they step into. Rosenbaum get, kicks the extra point. He's going to get the privilege of kicking off here. A lot of guys getting ready. There's some guys that got some jerseys out there. It looks like they want to get dirty here for the Senators. So this might be a quick one. I see, I believe that is Grayson McCoy out there, 33 maybe. Yep, some freshmen out there getting ready to do some special teams here. Look at that wobbler. Right to number 20. Number 20. 20 comes this way. Going to cut back in. Be brought down at about the 42, 43. Yep. Van Cleve again. And then number 44 there, Danny, Danny Scott coming in, getting a good tackle there. Uh, North Harrison getting this score in uh, North Harrison over Salem. Uh, seven to six right now. Salem just goes in and scores. So uh, bringing that one. Seven to six, North Harrison ahead there. The streets are shut down in Salem tonight. They shut down some streets there to keep people. Uh, <laughs> they, they shut down a lot of things in Salem yeah. tonight, including the school for the next uh, two weeks. So. so 
We'll see. Every day's a blessing, like we say. Yeah. So this was a, a Salem senior night, so they're getting that in uh, before. There you go. Before the the normal time of the year, so that's that's good that they got their senior night. And there's going to be that pass is out wide to number 34 of their car, and that ball is going to be just incomplete off the front of his hands. And Toshi looked he, as he looked, he just did not look confident, and they they uh, never really got started. And he's coming to the sidelines. I wonder if they're switching. Okay, he is going to remain in. I really feel that they're going to switch out quarterbacks as they go along. They they have a little bit of a system there with number 41, Adam Stewart. Yeah, they like to to switch and and be the one. He likes to be the one to throw it. So. Um. You know, Toy Shit's looking at, he's got uh, three completions on the night there, looking at about 24 uh, yards on the night so far. I'm going to tell him just throw it to Ferris because that's his bread and butter. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ferris has got some good hands and is able to yeah, uh, we got, uh, ooh. delay a game on the yeah. centers. Or not on the centers, just on the Musketeers. Musketeers. That'd be awesome if you could delay a game on defense. <laughs> like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to uh, do that. I don't know. I've seen some. I've seen some crazy plays, and I will miss. I will miss Philip Bowsman because that man knew every single rule, <laughs> and knew it inside <laughs> out. And he would tell the officials, and by God, he was always right. Well, it's a an interesting. Uh, we see the boys all spread out, but we also see the coaches all spread yeah. out. So it's it's interesting. You know, there's there's no coach standing beside each other. There used to be a pack of them that would stand. Yeah. You know, together, and and now they're all spread out. So yeah. Hopefully we see here as we go. And there's Toy. She's going to throw it out to Flash. That ball's down, but that's going to be incomplete. I uh, I watched some during quarantine there. I watched a, I got in a loop of watching trick plays. <laughs> and there's a play where somebody throws it behind the line of scrimmage and it's a bounce pass to the to the wide receiver who then picks it up and throws it. Um, and I was amazed at how many people actually was were successful on that play. I'm just thinking, how could you throw it to where you know it's going to bounce perfectly yeah. to that person? Some of those turf fields, you can kind of determine that, though. So uh, we got all kinds of guys moving around here for the Senators. Looks Look. like they're going to switch Parker Green and Hunter Thompson. Hunter Thompson looking over there to the wide side of the field. There's Carr who did get that play. Roper was going to shade over. I don't know is that Glenn Rankin over here on the, as the outside linebacker. And it looks like we might have a timeout. Looks like they're going to Pekin's going to take another timeout. Leaves them with uh, zero left in the game. So oh, wow. That's going to be their final timeout. Uh, like we said, the the one score that we did get in was North Harrison over Salem at the moment, seven to six there uh, at Paul Graves Field. Let's give you one from the west side, if that's okay. I'm um, over in the land, the time zone of uh, time zone of uh, the central time zone over there. Uh, my friend just tweeted me, uh, Forest Park seven, Princeton zero. Well, that's so, good. That's good. There you go. Uh, I think Coach Foose is still over there, and then. Uh, <laughs> Boonville eight nothing over Washington right now. We have them on the schedule later in the yeah, year. Washington, I believe they're week five. I think maybe or week seven or eight. I thought well. towards eight, right before the Salem game at the end. And then Vincent's Lincoln six, uh, Bossy zero there. Once I like I said before, um, those of you at home who are watching, be sure to send us your pictures. You know of uh, of you sitting on your couch or you having your your. Your uh, get-togethers, watching the, the Senators there on your TVs or your computers, wherever you are, uh, send those pictures in, and we'll we'll get those up so that people know, hey, you're you're supporting from home even though you're not here. Another big game, Columbus North 10, Gibson Southern 0 right now. That's and a, Gibson Southern, that quarterback who's getting scouted by Notre Dame is still there, right? Yes. Yep. He's wow. A, I believe he's a senior this year. No, yeah. he may be a junior this year. Yeah. That is, because I know that that was who beat Salem in the regular season there. Yep. The playoffs there, 22 is off, and he is running. But, man, I tell you what, he runs into his own man there. Elijah Ham Heyman was the best tackler for the Senators. <laughs> for the Senators, were able, was able to bring his own guy down. Shades slow, of Mark Sanchez slowing with Slowing down tackle. for us. So that's still going to bring up uh, fourth, fourth and, and nine. nine. Yeah, as he comes around. That is, you know, you see that sometimes you get guys that are just like in people's way and you just can't get them out of there. And the Musketeers will line up. They've got trips to the right side. Um, they're going to go, go for it here. And this is not, he is not close enough. And we got, we got people sneaking in there. It's going to be a quick pass to the outside. It is a diving play and good job there. 
That's Ferris, a, Ferris didn't catch it, but it still wasn't going to be enough for the first down anyway. And so. that, that was a great play by Parker Green, not to get any kind of interference or anything, let him catch it if he has to. Yeah. Know where the sticks are, yep. and then just make sure you make the tackle, which uh, Parker was right on there. That's a great play. I'm sure Coach Ferris, who's up on top of the roof here on the press box at Art Sanders Field, is not happy with his son who uh, needed nine and ran a six-yard route. I'm sure that's something that Coach Ferris has, has talked to his son about. You know, if you if it's fourth down, you got to get to the sticks. Yeah, yeah, you have to have that knowledge, which is, you know, it's – it's that football IQ we look at. Bobby Stevens out here wide, wide. And uh, we got Parker Green there virtually uncovered. As Bowsman's going to look, he's going to be flicking the ball. He flicks it, and it's – oh, Parker Green comes down with it. The official is down, but Parker's up, and he is down at the one-yard line. That play was so electric <laughs> that the official <laughs> fell down. Well, you're getting to see the replay there at home. You see, you see uh, Bobby come across the field, but then Parker go deep. It's – Tipped by Parker to himself, at a lot like the uh, <laughs> interception. The interception that he got. So Parker then comes out <laughs> to get to get right there and then get it. So I guess now it's it, it, Bobby. I'm going to bet Bobby Stevens is getting the ball here. He's got a chance to to uh, with that. Look at that ball. Shades of the 90, 90 teams there. Look at that. Bobby's getting it. He's rumbling. He's stumbling. He's, He's bubbling. In. You know, if Jerome Bettis was the bus, <laughs> Bobby Stevens is the subway. So, Bobby makes a nice sidestep there and then steps into the end zone for, I believe that's his first touchdown since his sophomore year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, set out all of last year, Got actually got two plays in last year, and then with the uh, break of his, of his leg down low around the ankle area, uh, missed yeah. all of last season. So, Senators going to line up to kick again. Yeah, as we see this, as Rosenbaum gets it, he gets the ball down. He makes a good recovery, and I believe that's through the uprights. That's another good one for Ian. Yeah. Give him two extra points on the night for the freshman. You know, we got to give some props there. Uh, Jackson Cameron over there holding that ball. Freshman uh, holder there. That is a big play for uh, freshman. He got the ball back down, and you see Coach Burks there telling him he was able to readjust the ball. I don't know where the laces were there, uh, but – he pulls it back. Uh, Funny story, you know, guess what movie I was watching before I came? Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura, laces out. Finkel. I mean, uh, we do, you know, we uh, during quarantine, I I miss sports so bad, I tried to find any movie with sports in it. And I, I watched that in the Isotoner gloves. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's all kinds of good stuff in that. And Dan Marino, man. Yep. I, I, wonder if, I wonder if people understand he had stats – like no other, yeah, you know, just yeah. didn't have the rings. Ian Rosenbaum going to be the one to kick it away here after his two successful uh, extra points. Extra there. points. So, are you a fan of the Dolphins at all then? Since you're no, the U, or no, I'm a I'm a Hurricanes fan, not a Dolphins fan. Okay. So. See, that's how I've got a lot of my friends are like that. They're I, either I, I actually go to the other coast. I'm a <laughs> I hate to say it, I'm a Raiders fan. Wow. <laughs> The, the homeless Raiders right yeah, now. Yeah, the homeless Raiders. Hoping they go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Who knows where they're going to be. They're traveling. The traveling band here is in Rosenbaum is going to be kicking off. Um, he's got a, uh, a lot of guys, like we said, they're hungry. I see some guys, some jerseys out there that are looking to get some dirt on them again there. And this ball That's is up. Much Massive better kick. kick by Ian. Oh, I love that right there. Right there makes him go down to the knee. Number five, Martin picks it up, and he is going to be um, met right there. Glenn Rankin coming in. At about the 35, I believe. Yeah. Somebody else. I'm looking for the pile there. Pull off. That looked like Grayson McCoy. Yep, that makes sense there. He comes up and uh, hammers somebody as much as you can when you are a freshman and you weigh uh, 141 pounds, which I would challenge that Grayson weighs 141 yeah. pounds. So he might have had a 20-pound weight attached to him there. We get ready to start here in the Eastern. 6.55 left. It is 36-0 West Washington. The ball is on the 34-yard line. First and 10 for the Musketeers. Here's the snap. Oh, goodness, and we've got all kinds of people moving. But it's going to be <laughs> – the ball was never snapped. <laughs> so everybody on the line moved except for the center, the one who has to move the ball. So, our, Including our defensive line, which was on the <laughs> other side. Um, one of those, you know, uh, Keystone Cops kind of plays. P cue the Benny Hill music for those people who know what I'm talking about there. 
And right here we look, and that's they put Ferris out wide there, and they've got twins to the right, left, and there's the the handoff to Martin, and he's going to be dropped right there. Really nice job by Bryce Brown. Sees him coming by and goes low to, to knock him down. Charles Madden kind of going high there and sticking with it. And uh, there's times where you see uh, some, you know, with Charles, he just would like with Mike, it's like the big paws that both those boys have yeah. just get in and just kind of destroy some people. Will be uh, at 6:25. The clock is running. 36 nothing. West Washington here. It'll be uh, second and 14 balls on the 30-yard line. That'll be uh, trips to the left for the Musketeers. And that ball, man, there there was a false start. If there ever was one on this side, man, Carr was. That's going to be a, <clears throat> a pass interference. Parker tries to come around him, but he's unable to get around 44 before and, the ball gets there. So Carr was. A step off the line before the ball was snapped. That's what I think, Parker. I'm surprised that we didn't get that on that end uh, because it did not look good. And the same guy over here uh, who was filling it. And do you know what the official? We got another official down there. He's just keeping. I I think he's in training. Okay. Um, so it's a it's kind of a job shadowing uh, opportunity. So he's. Well, God bless our officials because it's it's a it's a thankless job. Next to being an assistant principal or a fifth grade uh, teacher, you know, uh, <laughs> it's uh, one of the most honorable things we can do in the world. So that's one of the, the big pushes by the IHSA this year, which uh, we actually have a commercial for the officials. You know, if you're interested in becoming a, a licensed official, uh, there's there's a place on the IHSA website to get all the information that you need along with the scheduled test dates and things. So that oh, that ball went off a helmet and was almost intercepted there by Roper McFeeders. The pass by Toysh goes off his own lineman's helmet, bounces up in the air, and then Roper just goes and just – that would have been a – that would have been a top ten play there. Yeah. The shades of the immaculate conception there, right there, reception there by Franco Harris to uh, um, right there, Steelers Raiders. But man, that ball almost made a crazy play there. And uh, we got the. Uh, have we, have we even started the NFL? Have they been in camp? <laughs> I have a fantasy football draft next Sunday, <laughs> and I'm not seeing anybody play. Well, I heard you had a wonderful pick. I've got the 12th pick out of but, 12 teams. But also gives you the 13th pick. It does. Whoa, oh. Billy, what a play. And we've got – oh, we got a lineman. We, got, to, we, we got, got all kinds of, kinds of stuff okay. going on. Okay, so we we got – Jake Strange just planted Toysh halfway to Hardensburg. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four flags. And now we got some cramping. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure what went what, on. And I, a lineman came down with the ball. Yeah, so – a so that, uh, he can't catch the ball unless he reported as a as an eligible receiver, receiver, which I don't think he did. So we've got an official conference there in the middle of the field on what what's going on. So let's see real quickly. That was uh, that guy had the play of his life there, man. He thought he got it, <laughs> and they're picking up. They they're going to have to go to the Home Depot and pick up some more flags there. That's declined. <laughs> okay. Illegal, Illegal touch on the offense. So that's going to be accepted. No. It's going to be a loss, loss of down. down. Wow. So we got flags all over the place. And they pick them up, and it looks like Tosh is coming off the field. So that's going to put Adam Stewart in there, uh, senior uh, quarterback there. I've not seen him on the field yet. 5'10", 180. He's a, he's a quarterback and linebacker there. They're going to put him in. I uh, think this is the, the – quarterback who is more of the throwing quarterback so we may see him air it out a little bit more yeah. so you know i know last year the young man that had a quarterback threw the ball he loved to throw the ball i don't know if he yeah. was still if he if he was a senior last year or, um i just remember that game just like man he he got he got rid of it he I, had no line he got I rid of it kind of remembered that that game took a long time, time to play because of um all of the He's going to hand off to Martin there on his first play and Martin is going to be dragged down by um a platoon of senators there I think Big that Mike was there and uh, Bryce, Bryce Brown, Brown again on that. You know, one. And, and and Bryce does that. He does that thankless stuff, and that's going to be a fourth down. It looks like we're going to have a punt. And I tell you what, I've seen a lot of big punters, but that might be the biggest punter back there I've seen in a while. Number sixty-four. Uh, that is James Hardy, I believe. He is six foot four. He's a sophomore. He's three hundred five pounds. He was that big in in junior high when we played him. 
Here's the punt. He punts it away. And it's going to be received. Oh, McFeeders gets it. He's got one guy dragging him down as he catches it, but he takes him for another ride. And I tell you what, right there, that's going to be, man, I tell you what. We're going to get an, an illegal block okay, in man. the back. So yeah. that, that return by Roper is going to come back. Yeah, and that's what I think Coach Nance is talking to, talking right there to Van Cleve. You know, he 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 got he was continuing to play out, and it's just a second after the whistle, and sometimes that's all it takes is one second after the whistle. Right. So Senators are going to lose quite a bit of yardage there. So they're going to take over on the 32. So we got a personal foul on us, so it's going to push us back there. Man, I tell you, and that's, with five with 520, you know, you hope to get the ball. We're going to see a lot of – I wonder what we will see, you know, a heavy dose of McFeeders or whatever. I know we, we like to push that gas pedal. And uh, we, look at, we look at how long, you know, you've got to get guys out there. So you don't know from week to week how long you'll be out. Well, and I – had heard there's a, a jet sweep by Bobby. Bobby getting out wide, still nobody bringing him down. Makes the turn on the corner. And the only thing that's going to stop him is the the bench, east bench at the eastern <laughs> sideline there. So he gets out of bounds. Looks like he's going to have enough for the first down. Get out of bounds right at about 10 yards. So brings it up to the 42. I love those blue sideline. Yeah, those are just so nice. We had black ones before, and they replaced them with blue. They they do a really nice job of keeping the, the sidelines from being mud. Yeah, nothing worse than being in mud on the sidelines. Bilesman hands off to McFeeders. McFeeders drives up the middle. He breaks one tackle. He breaks two. He has found some daylight. He's got one man to beat, and he is pulled down, man. We've by got a flag in the backfield, though. So, Oh, leave it there, Jake. Oh, nope, Jake, it's Jake just flag. Jake throws a flag also in the same spot there. And the official. So, let's see. Lots of penalties here. So as I believe he's got Roper's towel. I'm not 100% yeah. positive that's who that is. Yeah, definitely towelgate there. Let's figure out who it is. Still waiting for the call to come in. Yeah, we're, they're moving us back. They're so. moving it back, so it's got to be on us. It's going to be a hold. hold. You know, that's where you don't know. I don't know who would have been. It would have been a backside. I'm on the bet on that side. It was a backside guy. And what's what's the bad part of that is that play was a motion and then went to the left. Yeah. So it's on the backside of a play. And you never want to see that. Uh, I, week one is always a sloppy one. Memories that you have, you know, I was in Logan County and I had that. And I remember seeing that. It's not a play you want. Yeah. We're going to step aside, get in a commercial break from Ryan Jones there at Edward – or Ryan Kemp at Edward Jones. Um, and we'll be back in just a moment. The recent market vitality has affected just about everybody's financial and investment situations. So if you're planning on retiring soon, will it still be possible? Of course, with many people's jobs being affected by the coronavirus pandemic, your retirement plans may have been thrown into confusion. But assuming your employment is stable, you'll need to review your retirement goals and progress you've made towards achieving them so you can determine what moves, if any, you need to make. Then ask yourself some questions. For starters, are you flexible enough to make some changes to your retirement lifestyle? If you can find a way to make it less costly, you may not need to change your current investment strategy significantly. Also, if necessary, are you willing to work longer than you had originally projected so that you can put more money into your IRA or 401k? Here's another question. When should you take Social Security? The longer you wait, the bigger your monthly payments. Even in the midst of uncertainty, you still have choices. Consider them carefully and make the decision that works for you. For more information, contact Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Ryan Kemp at 812-620-5604, member SIPC. We're back and there's a quick handoff there and Ethan Roberts gets it and he is going to be dragged down after a sizable yards uh, gain there. It looks like about a nine yard gain for Ethan Roberts, the sophomore, number 25 for the Senators. You were listening to the West Washington live stream with 4.43 left here in the first half. Um, the centers are up 36 to nothing. Uh, the ball's on the 35-yard line. And it is going to be, uh, excuse me, it's going to be moved up to the 30. 42. Me, 42, thank you. 43. 43. In between. In between. Who's <laughs> counting? Who's counting? I'm not. You are. And Stevens with the ball. And he is boot scooting again. And he has found some daylight. You just look at him get those extra yards. Gets about nine there. I'm not so sure he didn't lose a shoe. Yeah. 
of all guys I don't want to lose a shoe tonight, it's Bobby, you know, after all that pain he went through. He's he's coming out. He's lost his shoe. Honestly, who loses a shoe there? And the Senators will get ranking in there, and it looks like McFeeders came back in the backfield anywhere. Um, so it looks like Roberts and McFeeders back there in the backfield for the Senators. Lots of, a lot of really good young kids here playing. A lot of, a lot of guys out. So here's the handoff, and it is to McFeeders. McFeeders has got a good hole. He's gonna, <laughs> he finds guys. I think he likes to hit them. So. <laughs> Well, which is nice when he's playing on the defensive side because he plays that, that safety, free safety, um, you know, so it'd be nice for him to uh, avoid him a little bit coming out of the backfield, but still doing a really nice job there for the sophomore. Tell you what, um, was his brother one who avoided people? Or did uh, he run? No, his brother was six yeah. foot, six one, two twenty, and <laughs> six three, two yeah. twenty, yeah. and would look for people just to hit. Just to hit. He all played middle yeah. linebacker. Was <laughs> He was that kid. That guy. So... The, the hope is that Roper grows into that body, um, you know. And, and Quickly for us. Yeah. <laughs> Especially next year. Here we go. As Bowsman is going to drop out, he's going to hit on the sidelines there. And uh, I believe that is Green is there. and Going to be a late hit. Green late pulls hit. that one in. Yeah, that's a I, – yeah, I was trying to figure out what that would be over there. That is on a far sideline, our furthest. And that's a kid, Parker, who has came along a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, he was a kid who last year um, – overshadowed by number number uh, four number three that were there nothing to hit you know his uncr he was he was just somebody who came out he's became a football player yeah he he didn't play football up until i believe it was his eighth grade year wow <laughs> so uh he kind of looked around and realized he was at west washington and he better play football so he, he was a basketball uh, only kid oh so. man and if there's one thing i can change it's that uh, and that's the, that's kind of the same way his well he Parker got out before his older brother Noah did. Noah, I believe, came out his junior year oh, okay. of, of high school. So Okay. And was he a good addition to the team? Yeah, yeah. He was a – And then it looks like the hard count there <laughs> might have gotten the the uh, Musketeers off because I think they crossed. Oh, it's going to be against us. I see the official is moving. Oh, nope. Nope. Going forward. Well, there we go. That was a, a nice job by Holden to make that hard count there. You notice he probably talked to the whole offense and said, hey, here, it's com it's coming, don't move. Something I didn't realize, last year I think almost every game we start off the game with a hard count that would get somebody – we didn't do that tonight. Nope, nope. And Bowsman is going to hand off to McFeeders, and great fake there. And McFeeders is getting drugged down, but, oh, man, just not enough room there. McFeeders tries to get the corner, is unable to get it. So does a nice job of getting to that edge, but can't get any more once he gets there. So You know, he's like the lightning like we've talked about there, and I think we'll see um, some other guys get – Roberts get some uh, carries here. we got Van Cleve back there too. we got some guys that are all over. And here comes, here comes the wrecking ball, and that's going to be Bobby Stevens coming in the backfield there. You know, T.J. Duckett-like. There we go. <laughs> So we've got we've got two in the backfield, but then we've also got Van Cleve there lined up wow. as an extra blocker. Bobby moving, going to get uh, another flag. That touchdown is going to be taken off the board. Poor Bobby's had two of those tonight taken off the board from. Senators get another holding call. Not sure who that one is on, but. So we got this, and that was a pretty. That was a, a nice run there by. Uh, Bobby, but it's going to be negated, so we're going to back up. Going to be a second and 14. 14, 205. The clock is um, le 205 left here in the first half. The Senators lead 36 to nothing. If you are listening, um, one of the many places are watching us, well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, if you're out here watching and uh, if, you get to, if you're watching us later, we enjoy that too. Thank you so much. Here comes Bobby. He's Bobby in coming across the middle. And that's a fake. And, man, what a fake there. But, oh, my goodness, Roper had one Roper guy Roper with be. a nice stiff arm. Yeah. And he keeps running. We Going to be a flag, flag coming in. I wonder if that might have been a horse collar. No, that would have. Uh, could have been. Usually not called yeah, by the yeah, not by a, the official over on that side. So The way that he was pulled down, but we're going to have this. Let's see what we got. Going to wave, wave it, it off. off. Wow. Even so. the officials need a, a – that's what I love about volleyball. They can just replay the point real quick. Yep. Nothing. Yep. 
Great win last night by the uh, West Washington. I saw they won. Yep, they won at uh, Medora. Wow, that's a late three night. Games. That's a late night. Yeah. Unfortunately, the county tourney was postponed, so that'll be rescheduled. I believe that is October fifth or fourth. Is yeah, what, is what. I can't remember the exact yeah. date. I got the tweet. Hold with the ball. He is it. looking. He's got a quick toss to nice flip to Green. Flip, 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 and he's in. Green going to get in for a touchdown. Wow. So we're going to see the Senators line up for another extra point. I believe that's still Ian Rosenbaum coming in. He's going to be lined up there for the extra point. And there is the snap. It's held down. It's Oh, that was a low liner. The, the snap was a little bit high there. He comes down. Uh, Jackson Cameron brings it down as much as he can, but Rosenbaum was already about to step into it, so it winds up being a low liner. And that's what winds up happening there is a blocked extra point. But with 145 left here in the first half, the West Washington Senators lead 42 to nothing. We're going to stick with you here through this uh, reset where the Senators are going to kick it away again. Uh, remember looking to get some of those uh, pictures of you watching at home. So if that's the case of you, uh, definitely get those pictures tweeted out. Let us know. I know we've got one sent in already. So um, There we go. Send it in. Safe at home watching up. And uh, I, I bet, you know, on a night like tonight, we might have some people watching us from their pools or maybe even uh, – if I was not here, I have a nice new patio at my house with a fireplace. I might have started one. There you go. There you go. Have to do it tonight, tomorrow night at the Speedway. So I hear the Speedway pretty good for my house. Yeah, yeah. So, so first one up, uh, we've already got oh. it up and, and showing, uh, is Brittany Power. She was the first one to uh, send us. Oh, no. Yep, it's Brittany. Uh, got to make sure with those twins. There. Yeah, I was I was looking. I was like, oh, let's make sure. So that one's up watching with her friend, her her puppy dog there. So thanks to her for tweeting that one out. Uh, the rest of you, if you got those pictures out there, go ahead and tweet those and we'll we'll pull them up as soon as you give them to us. So. Let's put something positive on Twitter. How about that? <laughs> about time there. We've, we've got a lot football here, man. We're under the lights here in Campbellsburg. 145 left. The Senators are rocking and rolling. It's 42 to nothing. Let's see what they can do here. In Rosenbaum's going to be kicking off. And uh, he gets a whole platoon there of centers. That ball is going to be kicked that one deep right to Martin. to Martin. Martin's got it. Oh, his own guy. His own guy again. He could not shake his own blocker. He had a lot of green in front of him. And instead, we got guys that are coming in there, a whole group of freshmen there making some plays. <laughs> Since I flashed that picture up, uh, Brittany definitely <laughs> – sent me a, a message here saying you know that she was she was the first to, to get that picture up so the rest of you are behind the eight ball now to get those pictures sent in get those pictures sent in you can photoshop it if you have to <laughs> there's lots of there's lots of apps to do that yeah take take a picture of your friend sitting next to you i mean that'll yep. work too it doesn't yeah. have to be of you it can be yep. of anybody so get those get those pictures sent i'm sure in. we'll have some photoshops of channing tatum and some people uh you know watching from home there or something whatever it takes tonight i tell you we are thankful for everybody. We'll, we'll do our best to get all these games on the air as much as we can this year because it's the lifeblood of our community, and we want to have that. And I really don't want to Facebook Live the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, the Senators do go on the road to Crawford County, who doesn't have a Week 1 opponent because they're under a quarantine there, so they're not playing their Week 1. So I guess we are technically their Week 1. Yeah, there was um, a – as Martin gets the hand off there, and he is going to be knocked down the backfield there. Uh, they went under quarantine, and they could have played. They would have had to play on Saturday, like to have enough practices in yeah. for a lot of guys. Um, Coach, uh, new athletic director Darren Russell and I had that conversation in his office about that, and he said, because um, we were very concerned with all the changes there, you know, and uh, true story, Switzerland County lost their week one, two, and three opponents. Yeah. Because they have that. So they turned around and had to scramble very quickly to try to find somebody. They're playing Noblesville Homeschool tonight. <laughs> and they only have like 27 players themselves, Switzerland County. So it's a young program there. Yeah. Coach Jessup, a good guy. I wish him the best. The ball is down. Pick back up. And he is going to be, oh, uh -oh. goodness. Bryce, Bryce Brown. Brown was on it and then lost, lost him it. in the backfield. And we this got another cutback. 
This is going to be trouble. Jake Strange coming in from behind levels the runner, and he goes down to a knee. 23 there. Um, Anthony McBride with the biggest play of the night, in my opinion, there for the Musketeers as he brings the ball over. It is 38.1 left in the first half. Senators up 42 to nothing. Wow. The, uh, the good news was Holden was on the backside of that. He was still running down. It, there wasn't going to he wasn't going to get to the end zone because Holden was going to run him down, but uh, that was a, a nice run there by the Musketeers. And will the centers get the ball here? You're going to see a quick pass out to the flats. That ball is going to be There's down. There's Holden, Holden and, and Rankin. Rankin. Oh, there we got a – flag, flag on the field from – I don't know if we got a helmet to helmet there possibly or what we got. There was some – there were some definite uh, things that are going to say face, face mask. mask. I wonder if they're going to get that on Holden when he came by. Uh, or was that Rankin? I don't know. I think it was Rankin cleaning it up. I Rankin don't know that Holden, Holden he, got the face mask. There, he got the love tap, and then there was the chaos there that ensued. That came from a good 20 yards away. So 15.7. Uh, this is the best drive so far for the Musketeers as they are knocking on the door of the Senators here. It'll um, be first and 10 from the 37. McFeeder sprints out wide there as I believe the Senators are going to – we got all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff. So we've got official coming in. Uh, officials coming in. We got people, cats and dogs. Actually, it's going to be a s first down and two. Yeah. Reset the clock here. We're going to have some – Fifteen, I think, is what they're wanting on the clock. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I think that was what. <laughs> Getting the clock reset. It ran a little bit. Yeah, right there in between the plays there as we were. So 15 seconds on the clock here for the Musketeers. That one going to go out wide and then batted down by uh, Andrew, Andrew Lewis. Lewis. Getting in there and that ball just rolled about <laughs> halfway to Senator Sam there. Those of you at home have a great picture of uh, Senator Sam out there in the middle of the field. Great job by everybody who took part in painting that one. So That's a that's a, that's a labor of love. And it's a unique uh, thing. There's not a whole lot of teams out there who have a, a, a mascot that's painted on the middle of their field. A lot of them will have a letter or a or, you know, a solid color yeah. something. But this is a four-color, uh, <laughs> huge Senator <laughs> Sam. I remember the day that we got the stencil for that, and it was laid out on the basketball floor, and it looked Oh, huge what, a, what a crew coming in. And he is going to be brought down. The quarterback is brought down by um, Mike and uh, Mike Leach. Um, Glenn Rankin got in there. And I tell you what, that's going to be the end of the first half. The on the end that of the first half. Great job by the Senators. Musketeers playing hard, 42 to nothing here uh, at Art Sanders Field. We're going to jump away, take a few commercials, and then we'll be back with some halftime stats and statistics, uh, stats and uh, thoughts. At the heart of the Channel brand are the relationships we build with farmers like you. We call it seedsmanship. With Channel, you'll experience our seedsmanship at work services on your farm through the year-round, hands-on, customized service of your Channel seedsman. Your local Channel seedsman, Brady Bishop, knows your fields and can recommend an elite seed product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre. Contact Brady, your local channel seedsman, at 812-620-4624. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, 
earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. For over 100 years, Stewart Seed has been proud to work with our friends and neighbors in Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. We remain committed to building partnerships rooted in personalized customer service and by providing locally tested products that fit your farm and help your bottom line. Local solutions, promise delivered. Contact Michael Trueblood at 812-620-3311 for all your Stewart Seed needs. Never miss a big game by downloading the IHSAA TV app for free on any device. For your iPhone or Apple TV, check the App Store. On your Android or Android TV device, load up the Google Play Store. Have a Roku or Amazon Fire Stick? We have the app for you. Check us out on Facebook Live, Twitter, or YouTube Live by searching for IHSAA TV. Or as always, click to IHSAATV.org for quick and easy access to your favorite IHSAA live and archived events. Back to live action here at Art Sanders Field, where the Senators do lead 42 to nothing. Uh, kind of a, a one-sided game here so far. The Senators just able to, to invoke their will on the Musketeers. Uh, Musketeers down in the far end zone, uh, you know, taking care of their their halftime talks and, and getting things going. The uh, one of the many adjustments due to all the regulations, you know, um, our own Senators have four different locker rooms. Yeah, one for each class. Um, for um, contact tracing that we look at. So that's just one of the many changes we talk about. That's what I didn't even realize until I was talking to Coach Gibson about that. I mean, your your actual meetings have to be different probably. Yeah. Yep. So the, the Senators, uh, you know, with 42 points, have quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of yardage, quite a bit of stats. I know it's overwhelming, uh, Mr. Mills, but <laughs> give, give me what you got. <laughs> well, I've got McFeeders with some big plays, a 67-yard touchdown run. A three-yard touchdown run. Um, uh, Bowsman with a 15-yard touchdown run. A uh, couple through the air. Bowsman to Strange uh, for a 30-yard touchdown run. A 47-yard completion. That Jake has to stiff arm one more. He would have made it. Um, another big 47-yard there to Parker Green, who uh, was once again just barely. You know, um, so we we've got quite a bit there. Um, holding uh, pretty good on the night here. I've got him for two incompletions in the first half. Um, peppering the ball around he's finding he's finding those guys he's checking down um that we're seeing here bobby stevens the return of the king if you want to say it our all-time single season leading rusher as a sophomore he's still there's still a lot of miles left on those legs and he's gotten in there um had a big run there um he's he's got himself um close to 100 yards already so he is um uh, he is uh, back on the other side for Eastern. Not really a lot. I mean, if you're looking for Ferris there, um, I've got him for three catches um, and just over 35 yards for that. Um, Toy she went out there, um, was the recipient of most of those. Um, one of the bigger plays there towards the end, that broken play uh, that got him, that got him, you know, going there, McBride. That was really the only uh, bright spot there for the Musketeers. We go on and. Uh, in Rosenbaum coming on and kicking quite a few extra points there uh, as the Senators uh, take a 42 to nothing lead at the half. So with that, we're going to step aside, just run some, some commercials here and some, uh, uh, some graphics and things. Give us a chance to kind of catch our breath. Uh, it was a, quite, a, quite a long first half there. We will have a running clock second half. Uh, because of the point differential, so second half will go uh, quite a bit quicker. Make sure uh, you get those pictures up. Yeah, for us. get it, get us your pictures uh, so we can get those up. But we will be back uh, here with the start of the third quarter in about ten minutes.
back to live action here at Art Sanders Field where the Senators are up 42 to nothing over the Musketeers. And the lights are on and the second half's ready to go. Senators do get the ball in the second half of play. Back deep will be Bobby Stevens. And the uh, it will be a running clock in the second half because of the, the score differential. So You'll see that as um, the only time that it will stop. You want to go over what those are? Uh, it'll stop for a timeout. It'll stop after an extra point and a change of possession. I nope, not an injury. Injury, sorry. Injury. So it does. As number 64 here for the Musketeers is ready to kick off. I'm trying to count how many Musketeers. Seems like there's an extra guy out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I saw number eight on the sidelines there. He looked like he was in. <laughs> So we got him, and he is ready to roll. He's ready to go. So Stevens, Roberts, and McFeeters back for the Senators. Here as we start. Is a low line drive. It goes right to Parker. Right to Green. Parker. Parker's going to fall on it. 33-yard line where the Senators will start there. First drive of the second half. Um, seeing a lot of uh, people come in there. I see Clark Nance coming in the backfield there along with uh, – Roberts and um, Grayson McCoy there. So we're going to see a little bit of uh, Clark coming in. It looks like our, our line is staying in there. So, hey, if you're a freshman, you got this big line in front yep. of you. You're very happy. So Nance hands off to Roberts. Roberts is off, and he is running. He's found a big hole right off the bat. And Roberts rumbling and stumbling and bumbling almost for a first down. He will be marked down. Looks like just short. No, but he's got the first down. Great run there. Roberts is uh, definitely a, a, another kid who hits a gear. He can do it. McCoy will get the hard yards. As we see some of the uh, younger uh, Musketeers actually get in there too. Nance hands the ball off to McCoy. McCoy outside. He makes a little bunny hop, and then he falls down right at the beginning of the hat of Senator Sam there on the 48-yard line. Good enough there for about a four or five yard gain. I would agree about a, we'll call it four and a half. Four and a half, you know. Jackson Cameron comes in as a receiver. A receiver as McCoy comes out. Looks like it'll be a single backfield here. I would say that we're going to see a heavy dose of Roberts here if I was willing yeah. to bet. <laughs> but uh, as Clark Nance sees his first varsity action there as a freshman. And he is going to go to the jet sweep to number 11 there. That is Kenton Chase. Kenton, Kenton Chase. Chase cutting. And somewhere. Does a nice job. Gets out of bounds at about the 35. And I wonder how loud Matt up top on the radio was yelling <laughs> for that one. His nephew <laughs> in there. A kid who I begged to play his seventh grade year, and he came out his eighth grade year. We do have some laundry right here. Let's oh, see what it is. Oh, we got a flag on the field. Oh, so. no. And it looks like some. Going to back that one up. You know, as we look at it here, so multitude of guys. There comes in. That's going to be number 18. That's ball coming in there. Getting all kinds of guys coming in to, to give some Gavin Ball coming in. Tell you what, he's a big body, if you notice that. I saw him I saw him walking in the hallways. He's If he's back there, he's going to get a chance to run the ball. But it looks like it's going to stay with uh, Roberts back there. I think he's in as a wide receiver. Okay. And there's Roberts, Roberts who tucks it, but he gets drilled right at the line there. But still fighting for hard yards. Yeah. Gains about four. Adam Stewart on the stop there for the Musketeers, along with number 22 there, Dallas. And that, that he looked like he, I don't know if he. I think he may have a cramp in his calf. Yeah. I hate week one <laughs> seeing any kid grab towards, because the adrenaline's pumping and you're hitting each other for the first time. It can yeah. be. Me think. So we got a little bit of the mix here. We got a JV backfield with the varsity uh, field as the lights on the parking lot come on there. That's kind of a cool effect up here. And there's Roberts. He is off and running. He's got McCoy out to block for him. He can't turn the corner, but we got a flag there. I wonder if that's going to be there. It looks like uh, number 63 there, Bryce Brown down. If we got a hold or what here. It's 827 left here in the third quarter. The centers are up 42 to nothing. Once again, we do have a running clock during this half because of the point differential. So we are waiting to see here. 
Still waiting to see what the call is from the far side. So this is great. If you got a lot of penalties, the clock can go down a lot. You can get a lot of clock. It's going to be against the Senators there. So we're going to back it up. Yeah. It's going to so, be a hold. Which, you know, really worries you. When you got your varsity line, you know, get some older guys in there, you hope that they wouldn't hold in this case. Well, it was the same case uh, in the first and second quarter. You know, we were still getting holding calls. So it's one of those things that I'm sure Coach Nance is going to want to clean up from his offensive guys. Well, Clark's got Jake Strange out here wide. I don't know if he's going to get to chuck it over here to Jake. If he's oh, Jake's going to block all the ball goes down. Oh, no, but Grayson McCoy covers it up. As it just never really got to him. I think that Grayson saw the daylight he had in front of him but got real, real uh, um, antsy there. But, hey, some of these guys getting out there playing some 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 snaps, you got to have it because you never know what Monday brings, you know. I mean, <laughs> funny, funny exchange there. Uh, Clark Nance tries to come off the field, and senior Holden Bowsman comes in and, and grabs him and says, hey, you're not going out. You're the long snapper, so <laughs> you don't get to get off the field. You've got to snap this one to me so I can punt it away. <laughs> one quarterback to another. Great snap there. And what a kick there. Holden nice kick there. by Holden. That ball is picked up, but, man, good coverage right there. Oh, we let him get away. And let's see. Oh, well, no. We, we didn't let him get away. We turned him into some more senators, <laughs> but. <clears throat> there is um, nothing quite like that. And we'll see some, I believe, our first team defense will be going out there as we see some guys that will be rotating in here a lot. I mean, this is one of those games you want to make sure your jersey's ready to go if you're one of yeah. these guys on the bench. So down to six minutes here in the uh, third quarter. Senators up 42 to nothing. My one of my roommates uh, played at South Bend, Washington, and uh, he was a he was a freshman and didn't think he was going to get in the game, so he put none of his leg pads in before the game started because <laughs> he never played. Well, they wanted to get him blown out pretty bad, and he was a third string tight end. He got put in and played like four or five plays with no pads in his pants. So hopefully these guys are all ready and equipped. That was a low snap there picked up, and it looks like they're going to be cutting back. And, oh, man, there we go. Uh -oh. And this is – Oh, Victor, Victor, Young. Victor gets – Yep, that's okay. Victor gets hit, but it's going to be a, a – Yep. A uh, – Block in the back. Block in the back, probably. That's good. Hey, we'll take it, Victor. Yeah. That guy might think he's going to get his, his highlight film there, but that is not the case yeah. there. I know Mom Rhonda is at home watching Victor. Uh, <laughs> she, she was messaging me earlier, having a little bit of trouble getting on. Those of you who are on and are watching, um, you know, your, your pass is good for as many times as you uh, can log in. So, you know, it's not, it's not a one-time go. So you can, you, once you purchase it, you get it for the entire time that we're, we're live. So you get to, to see it. So don't be afraid. It, you know, if you get kicked out or whatever, to go right back in and sign in again and, and get back on. Um, yeah, it, it, technology it, is a funny thing. Yeah, and it works on, you know, smartphones, uh, you know, smart TVs, anything that's got internet to it that you can get to the IHSA TV website, you can get our game on. So, you know, you can you can watch it on a computer, on your phone, on your TV, you know, if you've got well, an Xbox or anything, you can do it there. Um, you know, simple to go to, uh, IHSAATV.org forward slash West Washington HS. I wonder so. if our buddies from Texas are going to be watching us. I don't know. I haven't seen any of them sign on. I know. That's a. That, I know that we used to. We, we used to get quite a few from from Texas, but I, I haven't seen any of them sign on tonight the yet. Run to the outside, and it is uh, ate up real quick by a whole group of senators there. I mean, just right on the spot. Victor Young again. Um, looks like looks like um, Andrew Lewis and. Um, just a whole group of senators coming in there. Some younger guys are getting the call here. Ken Chase and Jackson Cameron coming on as de defensive backs here in a situation there as Bowsman and Rankin come off. Definitely a different uh, vibe as the second half as this clock is rolling. There's four minutes left here in the third quarter, 42 to nothing. We've got the ball as second down ball, 33 yards to go for the Musketeers. Quarterback Adam Stewart back in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. He's looking deep. He's throwing deep. Throws he's deep. And he's, oh, man, the only man <laughs> that was back there. He, Roper his, got his hand up. I don't know that he got the ball. He may have got an arm in there, but he was able to break it up. So. Andrew Adams there um, had a chance to uh, take it to the house um, and just never could reel it in. Uh, he 
that was a great play. They saw younger kids come in and some, <laughs> and they let's, let's throw it deep over the top. See what happens. I see Charles Madden about ten yards off the ball there, and you know Charles, a very very great tackler and hard hitter. Yeah. I don't know if I want him in coverage back there <laughs> on somebody. Well, he's gonna he's gonna play a little bit of coverage with his yeah. linebacker position, and and it's something that he did do. You know, his freshman year, he was dropping back into coverage and stuff. So Brennan Emery there on the outside linebacker, looking for it. Uh, he could be a playmaker. He's got some good hands. Somebody throws his way, he might get a pick here. And that ball is a wounded duck, and it's up. And oh, that's, that's <laughs> we have we have three senators converge on the ball yeah. and then knock it down between the three yeah. of them. So Ken Chase there, and it looked like the other. Um, number four there is that Thompson. Yes. That is Thompson. And some Gavin Balls coming in now. We got a whole platoon coming in. Let's just make sure we got the right number of guys coming on, the right number of guys coming off because, ooh, I don't know about this I one. I don't know about that. That <laughs> seemed we, like about ten guys come off so let's four count walk them. on. One little, two little, three little centers, four little, five little, six little centers. I think we're still. I think we still got nine. I truly do. The punt is up. We got a flag there. And, you know, I still don't know that we had 11 out there. They're going to throw the flag as Victor Young falls on the punt there. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting. Uh... Let's count them. If, if they're going to count Charles, we're stat cast technology that we can just tell how many people are on the field. That's what we'll get the re-kick. You know, honestly, I'd make them re-kick because then you never know. More bad stuff can happen. I think they're they are going to re-kick. Yep. And you know, after you know netting 12 yards in the first punt of the of the night, um, they've actually had some pretty yeah, good have punts. Yeah, had some better punts. Yeah. so that's always a good. Well, number 64 there um, for them, uh, James Hardy. I mean, he gets the ball. He's got a big leg. He gets behind it. I would not be one of the guys if he had a direct snap run now. Yeah. I would not want to try to have to tackle him. Well, but he would have to run it uh, the better part of 40 yards. So, And Roberts trying to blitz the edge. Good punt this time. It's filled it and is caught by Ken Chase. Ken jokes one guy. He's going. He's got the ball under him. He's, He's got, got daylight. Edge. He's got daylight. He's got edge. He might get in. Kenton Chase on his first varsity punt return takes it in for a touchdown. And the Senators. Nice job by Kenton there getting the edge and getting around. So. What a play, and I wish again I could hear Matt upstairs, my radio partner there. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's probably jumping up and down. If you heard a big thud, that was him stomping his feet right above us. And that's a that's an athlete. That's an athlete that just gets out there. That's something about West Washington athletics. Um, that former athletic director, Phil Bowsman, that current athletic director, Darren Russell, emphasizes kids playing multiple sports. That's a kid who, you know, gets out there and starts playing, and it makes a big difference. And going to make the extra point here. Great special teams touchdown, too. That's great. Oh, in. Oh! Squeaks it through. Squeaks it through. By the hair on my chinny chin chin, it makes it through. It so. didn't have a doink. Made it. <laughs> Made it through clean. Ian with his third extra point of the night makes the score 49 to nothing. The Senators are ahead. We're going to jump out, grab a quick. A uh, commercial break from Channel Seeds, and we will be back in just a moment. Bishop Seed is more than just seed sales. They're a multifaceted business. Owner Brady Bishop is a Channel Seedsman who knows your fields and can recommend an elite product designed to perform in your area and maximize the profitability of every acre on your farm. Bishop Seeds also offers chemical sales for the ever-expanding chemical industry and a variety of cover crops to help keep erosion down and yield up. They also offer climate field view so you can make a data-driven decision to maximize the return on every acre. Reach out and give Brady a call at 812-620-4624. Back to live action here at Art Sanders Field, where the Senators are ahead 49 to nothing. 1.9 left to go here in the fourth, or in the third, sorry, <laughs> just before we start the fourth. The running clock really making a difference there. The Senators' offense uh, uh, spurred by a special teams play there. Ken Chase with a huge punt return there. 
And here comes Rosenbaum. He's going to kick off, and he's got a screamer down the line. It's going to be fielded right there at the 25-yard line. This is brought up and then brought down by a whole group of Senators there at the 42-yard line. See Van Cleve in on that tackle, yeah. 33. That's Grayson McCoy. And 51. And that is uh, Bradley uh, Hampton. Hampton, a great group of kids getting some, getting some, laying some helmets on guys, which is what you got to do this time of the year. And that's where you you kind of see, hey, right now, <laughs> everybody wants to play when you're up by this much. Yeah. yeah. You've always got that as we look at. We're going to be uh, switching over to the fourth quarter here, um, switching directions as the Senators will be playing some defense. And we got some younger guys out there, it looks like. I'm already seeing some. So Dylan Keller coming in there uh, on the line along with, I believe that's Braxton Sprouse there on the as a defensive back. So definitely some younger guys there as we look. And you hope that everybody stays healthy yeah. through this. And, Hopefully everybody in the school stays healthy in the community. And if you're out there, please uh, mask up and uh, do your part and uh, stay home if you're not feeling well. And uh, let's beat this thing together. Because I want to make, I want to have football all fall. This is the first time in a long time something's felt kind of normal. So <laughs> I will say I am, I am broadcasting with a mask on. So yeah. broadcasting uh, with a mask on feels normal. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> right now, we'll take it. We're watching. I, I've got, you know, football in front of me. And uh, my got some friends uh, getting to see some of my friends. This is a good time as we get going here. The Senators are going to be on defense, giving a pretty good look there. Five-man front, it looks like. Four-man front, excuse me. And there is the ball is flung back, and it's out of bounds. You know, I, we're still hearing some lightning delays over at the yeah. other. Silver Creek 9-15 is what it said on Twitter they were going to try to start. Well, I'm trying to pull up some scores as we're going. Uh, I saw Oldenburg Academy was uh, tied 6-6. With Rock Creek. With Rock Creek. Yep. Um, Edinburgh is tied 6-6 with Tinley in the third there. Tinley, one of the few of those IPS schools that are continuing the season. You know, there's yeah. some that, that – did not play, unfortunately. I wonder what that's going to do to sectionals. I haven't even looked at that. Yeah, I haven't even thought about it. Yep. Jasper out with a lead over Memorial. Whoa. Uh, Memorial was driving in the third, uh, ended up fumbling the ball, and uh, the Wildcats took it to the house. So they're up 7 to nothing. Star gets stopped at the line of scrimmage there by a whole host of Senators as Jaron Roll and uh, Andrew Lewis come off and uh, – there's, excuse me, number 72, sorry, Clayton Holloway there. I didn't call his name. He's actually been on a lot of plays tonight. Bigger kid, you know, that we see. So, Eastern we, Green, 14, Springs Valley, 7 after 3. Wow. Snap is low to the quarterback. He throws it out wide. Throws He's got it out it. wide in the flats. Nice job by number 22 making that turn. And then oh, Victor yeah. Young going to pick up. Oh, it's all right. I think we're okay. I think the play was continued from starting. More Marcy Marcy Nance down there with her surgically reconstructed shoulder there. <laughs> we need to keep her safe. Um, so so Big Mike, Mike comes over and says, I'm going to stand right beside you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. If, if you give me Troy McKinney and Big Mike in front of me, I'm going to yeah. feel. And then you put Patrick in front of me too, I'm going to be feeling pretty good. All right, here is the. Um, Eastern is looking, uh, they've got a lot of their younger guys in there. Like we said, 22 in motion should be a quick handoff. Nope. Got some movement on the line up front. That's probably going to be illegal motion, I believe. Yeah. There was a couple guys in motion that weren't allowed to be in motion. <laughs> it, and that is when you do see, when you have plays that flow one direction, everybody wants to just take off in that direction. Yeah. And we got a false start, and that's what I kind of, yeah. Salem up 20 to 14 as they start the fourth there. North Harrison starting quarterback. We got word is out yeah. of that game. And I did not get to see North in our scrimmage. Um, they they have a very large running back. Reminds me a lot of Bobby uh, okay. in the backfield. So uh, they've got Number that. Number five maybe? Is yeah, it? yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, that's a – and that's a, the, the grind that is some of those big conferences. Number 30, let's see if he gets set over here. He's online. He got set. Goodness. 
Lots of time there. I don't think in a, with the running clock you're going to get too many of those. Oh, man. We almost had a highlight yeah. film there. Highlight film man, hit there. But Grayson McCoy almost got himself a little Sports Center top 10 there. <laughs> he was he was looking to come across and hit somebody. So he came Grayson McCoy with the pressure. And tell you what, that that's a kid who even when I coached him he never ever feared anything. He did he um he might have played about a half a game with a broken wrist. <laughs> um but made it through it, so You know that, and if you if you got the football sense and you can kind of pick up part what a team's trying to do, as the ball comes off, that's going to be snapped to 23, and that ball is going to be uh, is going to be stopped right there. Good job by Van Cleve. Van Cleve stops that one up. Yeah, 71 there. Gary Cooper coming in, making a and couple we're plays. Have another flag. Oh goodness, what do we got now? It looks like an injury. Injury, but we got a flag down. We got a personal foul. Oh goodness, what we got here? Personal foul against the senator. So. That's going to be an automatic first down, I believe. I don't know if it was a late hit or. If yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it. So, but it's right where the uh, the scrum pile yeah. was right there. So that's where you got to wonder what's going on. And that's just you know you look at now you give them. I believe that's going to be a first down because that's going to be a lot of yards. I mean, if not, whew. yes. Yeah, so that's going to be a first down for the Musketeers who are driving there on the 34. 7.58 left here in the fourth quarter, 49 nothing West Washington. You know, the centers would really like to get this. You know, you always pride yourself on defense. Coach Gibby does too. We want to we want to pride ourselves on it. We want to make sure we, we can do that because we don't want to give it up. You always hope you can have, you know, if you have a good game going, you want those. Here's the snap. Sewer drops back. He chucks one way up in the air. He's got a man deep. And not wow. going to come down with it. 20 over there, but is unable to come down with it. 20 was uh, just coming across there. You saw Andrew Adams. And, you know, Andrew's gotten his hand on a couple plays there. And just, man, he's had that, that long touchdown he could have had before the half here where he was the only man. Um, good coverage back there. I believe is that uh, Ken Chase? Uh, I think that's who's out on that side. It's 11 or 17. Yeah. 17 is what it looks like more. So let's look real quick. Tyden Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Big Tyden there. Have to bring him on the post game show here. There we go. He's a West Washington live stream Hall of Famer. Down to uh, seven minutes to go. Here is the snap to Stewart. Stewart's going to drop back. He throws a quick pass out to the flats, and that's going to be incomplete. <laughs> we see all the ball ball boys for West Washington scatter as soon as that ball comes over this way. Yeah, that's a that's a unique. Uh, you think about a social distancing and. <laughs> Like, uh, how does that work? Do you, let, do you uh, leave it or throw it? Or? Oh. So that's an incomplete pass. The uh, clock continues to run, though, because of the score differential. Stewart is having to run all the way to the sidelines to get the plays, too. So um, he is definitely looking like he, he was tired there going back and forth. Um, I know a lot of coaches like to do that to assist them there. All right, man in motion 22. Oh, that was a quick toss. Good play there. All of what Chase Farmer did last year a lot, and that ball is brought down. Going to be one. I think that's Bradley Hampton. Bradley Hampton again great, in on the great in tackle. on the stop, and that's going to bring up a fourth down in about three. So Bradley saves the first uh, down there on a great quick play there. Um, honestly, that was a good one too. And you know, I don't know if some coaches actually count that as a forward pass. If it goes forward, it is. So okay. that that jet sweep is actually a pass because it's a it's an overhand flip. If it's an if it's a handoff, that's different. But it's actually a flip. So we got a timeout there. Did get to go last night? Did you were you able to go out to Lynx last night to uh, enjoy the teacher cell? I was not able to make it there last night. I did. So. I picked up two shirts. Only one of them were the right size. My wife had to correct me on it, so I get to go back. So <laughs> they'll be one of our sponsors starting next week there. Yeah, but yeah. so you can you can go in and talk to uh, Rita. Rick is actually up here in the press box with us. He's he's running the play clock. So uh, always you, a, a yeah. big shout-out to those guys. They, they do so much for West Washington Athletics and, and all of the athletics around the county. So. Not just not just athletic wear. They've got a lot of awesome stuff there, especially uh, ladies, lots of professional wear you can pick up in there and uh 
lots of sports equipment if you're ever looking for it. I know this is a year we need to help out our small businesses first and foremost, you know. Always shop small if you can. Help all those out on the square there in Salem. Uh, it's great little, you know, great little communities we have here. Lots of little mom and pop shops and and you have since since last year since since all of this stuff happened you've become a washington county resident finally finally <laughs> and now my wife is sending me pictures of houses that are now open and so um we bought a house and uh we are 11 minutes from the school compared to my um almost uh hour drive each way i used to drive home let the dogs out or go pick up the daughter and then come around and drive straight back here <laughs> thankfully i wasn't on the radio or anything during that time so um that was just just doing some crowd control but you know um we have less of a crowd now so and you have less of a drive yes. less of a drive every morning there's the snap off hands off to 23 and he's going to cut back he's going to get the first down but a whole slew of senators bring him down there at about the 15 yard line clock continues to run here a couple guys garrett cooper and holloway coming in there as a couple guys step off of there Evan Ambers and Dakota Norman come off. Got a couple guys coming off, slapping hands. and I saw two guys come off and one guy go on. I don't know about that there. Let's see if we can get some guys. Maybe somebody stand tall here. And the handoff is to the left side. Nice by, job uh, by Holloway there coming across. A kid who uh, definitely uh, has a big body. That's some things, you know, Kai Struther, big body. There's a lot of spots on this line. Coach Dwayne Nance told me, he said, you know, most years some of these guys would be playing, but not in, you know, not on Friday nights. He says they're going to be Monday night guys. So trying to find them some spots, trying to find them some time is good. Ethan Roberts comes in there, uh, defensive end. You got Kai Struther on the other side. I mean, you got to look at some – that's some big – some pretty yeah. good size right up there. That's a pretty big, big JV offensive line – or yeah. defensive or offensive line there, so. Yeah. Okay, Stewart takes the snap. He's dropping back. He's putting back. He looks deep. Ball is up, and it is – oh, knocked down, and then falls just thankfully to the ground there. So going to be third down. Yep. Those of you from the uh, Jasper area that are tuned in, Jasper up. Uh, seven to three memorial did kick a uh, field goal so definitely we're trying to find him we've had kind of a slow rollout on some of these scores i know we had some games yeah some there. of them are late uh games and and things not getting started on time and stuff so especially with the weather thank goodness we i i was talking to mr keith Ants today and about weather might be an issue and i said well i think it's going south of us from my what i was um, trying to figure out there and big thank you to uh, Mr. Wolf there with the WWSR radio there helping us out. And that ball is going to be, man, just snuffed out right there once again. Great pay, play by Holloway there, preserving that drive. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's going to be a big fourth down. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it up for, for what I'm going to see here. Okay, Stewart's going to drop back, and he's going to try to find Andrew Adams. Number 20. <laughs> I would agree. He, he's going to try to find Andrew Adams. He's going to try – Anyway, so if you're out there, I see Jackson Cameron, number five. I got on my other side here. Uh, let's see. That's Braxton Sprouse over here. So one of those, he likes to throw to the right side. I think he, I think we're going to see him. So wherever he is, he's on the far right side here. Folks, let's fight my Telestrator. I would show you. That's what he's going for. <laughs> and he throws. It's a, oh, wow. That's okay. over the middle, but not able to be brought down by anybody. So. And that clock is running. You know, the Senators can run out this clock. And you don't want to give up a cheap touchdown towards the end. And uh, especially the way your defense has played, which has been admirable. We've, we've overcame some penalties. So we're going to see. Uh, I'm looking for. Rosenbaum back there, quarterback, it looks like. Rosenbaum going to be quarterback. I was looking for yeah. who was going to. Rosenbaum, yeah. And, take uh, it, so. You know, Nance could actually go. Clark could slide up there and actually snap the ball out of a, out of a shotgun. I know in junior high he he thought he couldn't get hit, and that's what he told us. He said he found out that when he was a snapper, you, <laughs> you, when you're a long snapper, you're not. Oh man, we got all kinds of hag. But man, Grayson McCoy comes down with it, and he busts it. Whoa! And he's going to pull down a couple guys there in the process, but he's going to be close to a first down there. So we're going to see a couple more plays here before the game ends. Uh, yeah, I think in just uh, 
the snap. Well, we yeah. we had three people try to grab the ball, so yeah. it was one of those. You know, the snap came back, and then everybody tried to grab it. If you could cue some uh, like Three Stooges music there, they <laughs> they pulled it away. All of them wanted it. And you know, with teams that run the triple option, I sometimes feel like that. Like the quarterback really wants the yards, he'll pull it out and go with it. And right there, Roberts didn't step too far off, so we're good. Rosenbaum's going to keep it. He's got a couple blockers in front of him. He cuts right. He cuts left. He's going to be dropped. He's going to be dropped, dropped and then fumble. Fumble. Right I don't there. know if he was down yet or not. It looks as if we have, and they're going to get It's going to be a fumble turnover for um, the Senators. First one of the night for them. Yeah, and I don't know. Let's see if the see if Eastern is going to run out here and get a play. Looks like they may. Looks like they're trying to get on the field Still. and get a play off. Yeah, they're trying to do that. You know, they've already got their backup quarterback in the game, and so some of their personnel has already played. Um, but they've got linemen who aren't even um, ready yet. So they've got some stuff there. You know, you see this, and that's where you – Sometimes you have some younger guys that they're going to make mistakes, but, hey, right now is when you want them to make them. So they get up there quick, 16 seconds. Stewart's going to be trying to chuck it, so we know he's going to go. He's going to go to over here to the right side if I was a betting man. There he is. He's getting bumped. He's getting bruised. Pull him down, and they did. And that will Kai Struther, Garrett Cooper bringing up a big play there. And Ethan Roberts, and that will bring an end to this game. And so, a new thing this year, you know, you you don't, I you don't you don't do handshakes. What do you do? Do you just wave to the other team, or so no uh, no handshakes at the end? But the Senators are lined up down here. We're going to uh, go ahead and say our goodbyes, get our stuff packed up for a uh, weekend away from school it's been a long long week so <laughs> i know mr mills is looking forward to his uh 11 minute drive home i've got him beat i've only got a seven minute drive home but i've got a 30 minute pack up job so hey, craig thank you so much and i appreciate it and everybody listening home thank you guys so much for being here with us and uh, we appreciate it once again congratulations to the senators who do pull this one out 49 to nothing over the Pekin musketeers uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring you next week's game at Crawford um, but that is up to Crawford if we're able to broadcast that one or not so we will uh, see you either next week or the following week when we're back at home um, so thank you guys very much for tuning in and we will see you guys later <laughs>